Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Today I'm going to show you how to make the Duck Station PlayStation 1 emulator completely portable. Stay tuned. Welcome to Harrison Hacks. Hey guys, so a quick one for you today. We're going to make Duck Station completely portable. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the link in the description. It's going to take you to the Duck Station website. Now you can go to the downloads, you can choose Windows or Android. If you don't have the VCC Plus Runtime, you're going to want to download this one. If you already have those installed, go ahead and just download Duck. Once that's done, you're going to have a zip folder. You're going to want to right click, 7-zip, extract 2. The next thing I like to do is just rename my folder to nothing but Duck Station. Just like that. Then we're going to need some BIOS files and some games. I can't point you to those, unfortunately, but there is an archive. If you search it, you'll find it. The BIOS files you're looking for are scph5500.bin as well as scph5501.bin and scph5502.bin. Those are the BIOS files you're looking for. And then I just have one test game here. We're gonna open up our folder and before we launch the emulator, we'll right click on a blank space, new text document, and we're gonna name it portable. Just like that. So that's step one to make this completely portable. Now we're going to run the emulator. And initially I am going to just hit next. I'm not going to worry about my BIOS just yet. I'll hit next. Yes. Same with my games. Next. Yes. Now I have uh, Xbox One controller so I can click automatic mapping and choose my Xbox One controller. My Controls are all set. Finish. Now I'm going to close the emulator. And we're going to snap it to the side. And I'm going to drag my games folder right into the Duck Station folder. And the same with my BIOS. I can overwrite the folder that's already there. There we go. So now what we'll want to do is run the emulator one more time. Add a game directory. I'll hit games, select folder. I don't have them in subfolders, so I'm going to hit no. But there's my game. Now, the other thing we're going to want to go to settings, BIOS. And now we can choose our BIOS because we installed some. Just like that. I like to do fast boot to skip the PlayStation, uh, you know, the intro. I like to skip that. If we go to general, uh, I don't want to confirm power off. And we can start in full screen, just like that. And you can change a bunch of stuff in here, but this is just to show you how to make it portable. So I'll hit close. And we'll close the emulator one more time. Last step, settings.ini in your duck station folder. Right click, edit. And we don't have to change anything except the bottom. Come all the way down. And here's step two. It shows where we chose our games list. Mine are in a folder called games inside my duck station folder. So I just want it to say games. File. Save. Close. And that's it. Now duck station is completely portable. Really appreciate you watching. Please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. But most importantly, have a good day.